Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. This is episode 12, I'm Xenogena Matt. Last time, we got here to Colony 6, at least right outside of it, and oh my gosh, interrupting myself by click picking up this orb. So we have a vision here, uh, sometimes when you pick up field items, or collectibles, you'll get a vision that you'll need them for a future quest. Two Amblygon, Am <coughs> Amblygon turtles, Amblygon. Anyway, we got here to Colony 6, then we did some side questing. So off screen, I've adjusted my party's equipment. Let me show that off. Shulk's now rocking some better armor with an agility up 2 gem. Ryan's doing the same, but he's got more gems from agility up 2, HP up 2, muscle up 2, and strength up 2. And Charlotte's, I just put 2 gems on her and changed out her rifle. So yeah. I also leveled up once by fighting some of these soft hoxes right here. I got in one fight, and uh, in that one fight, it seems that Ryan and Shulk's affinity for each other went up further, so now they're at purple affinity. Who knew so much could happen in one fight? Anyway, let's talk to this knob on. Daza in big trouble. If Daza not have that thing, then it really does. Oh, hello there. Friends can listen to Daza. Some hoxes steal Daza's proof of not not on merchant status. If Daza not have proof, Daza cannot trade. Daza do not know what to do. Friends must get it back for Daza. Can friends do that for me? How could you let them steal the proof of your merchant status? Daza only look away for a second, and they steal it. They want it because it's shiny. If friends not help, Daza not know what to do. Will friends help Daza? Sure, might as well, because we're going to go down there anyway. Got some colony flyers, soft hops, pick up spirit clematis, and a verdant eternity. You know, even faster than walking about 14 feet is I'm going to skip travel about 14 feet. Off in the distance, we can see the Makanis with its sword right above us, stretched out. Pretty good scenery. Anyway, as Sharla said last time, we could take this elevator and get down here, and the ether drainage tunnel to the mine goes over there. Or I think it's just a drainage outlet. The area is an ether mine. It's a pretty long way down. Uh, would not recommend falling off. Got some antals. One of them wants to fight, but I don't want to fight. Got some Sky Rogals. They can take a beating. Really nice shot of the Makanis. Really gives you a good sense of scope and scale. Some hard hoxes here. Oh, hold on. It appears that there is the merchant status, and I also picked up a Dober Corgi. Yep, not on coin. I could go give it back to him, and I think he has another quest for me. But I think I'm going to do that later in the video, and just focus on the story aspect right now. Yellow Antals over here. Let's take out one of them. See how far we've come. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, he's just like two shot him, pretty much. Where did the other one go? I thought there was another. Oh, okay, he's over there. Got a soft hox there. Alright. And here we are. We've reached the drainage outlet. So let's head on in. Charla leveled up, got an affinity coin for doing that. Here we have some colony upas. Take one of them out. Get a good 
feel for how strong we are right now. Everyone's level 20, so we might at least be able to, like, make contact with that one-faced mech on. But that's probably about it. We have the drainage control room. Stop at the shop here. I believe all of our equipment is pretty good. Ooh, pelt. Uh, I could get two of those. Or actually, let me focus. What books do we have here? Hammer beats, great. I need backslash. I need light heal. Heal round for sure. Grand boots. Ooh, those could do. Those could go. I can do. Oh, I can. I can only get one of those. All right. I'll adjust my equipment later on. Guys, kill the noise. A mech on. I can't believe they've taken the mine too. That means the defense force and residents are. Oh no, Juju! Keep it together, Sharla. Don't start panicking now. Ryan! You said yourself they can't have seized the entire area, right? I bet you they're holed up someplace safe. Juju is alive, and we're gonna find him. That's why we're here. You can count on us. <sighs> yeah, yes. It'll be fine. Ryan, Shulk, thank you. Well, I mean, they did have a month. You would think that some machines would be able to find... to figure out a mine system in a month. It's two ready coils. Come in handy for rebuilding Colony 6. We'll see what that's about later on, but... In the meantime, here we are at Test Pit 1. Charcoal leg. Oh, no. No, 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 no. You engage me so you don't go one other. Alright, let's... Fine, if we could it topple him, that would be huge, because if he goes and alarms... Oh, lucky 7s! Wow. There's Ryan dealing 777 damage. I'll take that free XP for sure. It's a junk crabble. Got a long corridor here. But... This takes us to our first secret area of the Let's Play, Glow Moss Lake. Getting to a secret area will give you a lot of XP. Also, there's Elegant Marin for... he's level 29, so I do not think I want to engage him just yet. Got a Junk Crabble there. There's Test Pit 2. Materia Crabble. What was this, Final Fantasy 7? Colony Upa. Since this is an ether mine, there should be plenty of ether deposits around here. Let's see if we can get a rare one. We did! That noise signified a rare one, and I believe we're gonna get an achievement for that. And we did! Raring to go. That's our first rare ether crystal. You know, I'm, I'm looking for a good fight. I'm gonna fight some bats. And an Upa. Drunk Vang. Let's make, like, AI Shulk and just use... Monado Buster on non-Mechon enemies. Hooray! And don't get me wrong, you can use it on non mech on enemies. In fact, it's pretty good if you're like high up in a chain attack, and that's like the fifth chain. That could do a ton of damage. Just feels weird. Wait, we got a skill for that. A couple of common drops there. 
Test Pit 3 is here. I see there's an ether deposit over here, so I'm gonna go get that. There's one further back. I guess this mech on M32X is thinking think you'll get in the way. Brian topples him. Should be good. That should do it. It's another example of a three-person conversation. Anyway, there's something up ahead here. Let's check it out. An ether rifle. Gado. Charlotte White. <laughs> I know that voice. Medic, is that you? Go! A Theron! That's our cue, Ryan. Oh, yeah. 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 Looks like we got a fight on our hands, and the Theron is not helping us. Let's focus on the small fries first, get them out of the way. Nice war swing did a lot there. Use Buster. That did a lot of damage. Alright, things are going pretty well. All these mech on are the same level as us. Oh wait, nope, now we're one level higher. Get rid of this M42. Reapply Monado Enchant. Alright, and now, let's finish things off with the Chain Attack. Backslash, and Sword Drive. Medic, why are you here? Sir. Isn't Gatto with you? We have much to discuss. You'd better come with me. Sir. So, Juju has been taken by the bronze-faced one. Sir, what about Gado? Gado is gone. Gone? What do you mean, gone? Gado and I planned a surprise attack to set everyone free. But we failed, miserably. When I woke, Gado was nowhere to be seen. Only his rifle remained. But he is alive, I can feel it. We may not be joined by blood, but he's like a son to me. I'd know if he were dead. Oh. Some of the people in Colony 9 got eaten. Ryan! Sorry, I forget I said that. They don't kill Homs right away. If that bronze-faced one took him, we still have some time left. Are you sure? Boy, that blade was once Dunban's. I'm not sure why you have it. 
but we're going to need its full power. You can count on me. We're heading for the central pit. It's where they take all the homes they kidnap. If Juju's alive, that's where he'll be. Gather your things, we're moving out. You say something, Shulk? No, no. It's nothing. Forget it. All right. New landmark mining base. We have a heart to heart here for Shulk and Sharla once they've reached purple affinity. Over in this corridor. Oh! Interrupted by a vision. Triggered by Love Crane. They should make Peppa happy. Peppa Pig? It makes too much sense. A fire Abron. And another objective just down these stairs. Er, ramp. Ah, here are some stairs. Hurry it up, slow coach. What's wrong? Jojo! Gado! This is for you! What can it mean? This is for you. Is Juju already dead? Or is he going to be killed? Is that why Atharon... But then... What does that mean? If we keep moving, is Atharon really going to die? No! What's wrong, Shulk? This battle is for my people. If you can't handle it... Drop that weapon and head home. That's not it. I... It's just that... Out with it! Listen. Maybe we shouldn't just rush in head first. What? We got this far. I think we should observe them and plan our attack afterwards. You insolent! We don't have that kind of time! You don't know a damn thing about these machines. I have observed their movements. I've planned this attack for a month. I know full well what's going to happen to my brothers and sisters. It's just... We're going. Fall in, medic. Sir, what's got into you? I... A vision again. Don't tell me another death. Yeah, I knew it. The Shulk I know doesn't just chicken out for any old reason. This vision, was it like before? Kind of. I saw an underground ether river. And a Tharon. Hmm. Huh. An ether river. You know what? That sword lets you see the future. All that power, and you still keep getting it wrong. Better to use my brain than my fists. Shulk, I may rush in head first. But at least my head's useful for something. Okay, okay, I get the idea. I ain't done yet. You're useless on your own, Shulk. That's why we're here. Ryan, I... Next time you have a vision, you tell us. We bear the burden together as a team. Ah. Uh. You have a vision you don't like, we'll change the future together. Got it? Got it. What was that? Say it like you mean it. I got it, all right. Next time I'll tell you. He's right, Shulk. You two saved Juju once before. I know we can do it again. I believe in you. Thanks. They're right. We'll change what happens. 
Anyway, I didn't see Juju and the others dying. There's still hope. Back at it. Atharon sat by and planned the attack for a month. Let's sink in a second. A month. The Mechon, like, raided and destroyed Colony 9, or at least attacked it pretty bad, in probably, like, a matter of hours. And this man sits back, plan- quote, unquote, planning his attack for a month. I- I- I mean, I, I feel like- I feel like everyone's dead. Oh. Who's fighting me? Dark Kissling. Sure. Let's focus our efforts. No See if we can take out the drunk Vangs first. We've been inflicted with Bind. And now we have a problem. I can't tell what's happening. <laughs> oh, two shield. I do not trust these things are not going to talent art in this. I got the Materia Crabba who randomly got involved. Drop his physical defense if I managed to hit it right. I didn't. Char was about to go down. Hmm. Come on, guys. 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 Get out of here, Crabble. Crabble, be gone. Did you save Ryan? Nope. Here we go, we got a vision of double peck on Shulk, and that will kill. No, I didn't want to warn Ryan. Okay, well, I wasted a party gauge to warn. Okay, please don't get attracted to Sharla and attack Sharla. Okay, good. As long as I can regain that party gauge, I should be good to revive Ryan when he goes down. Or prevent him from going down in first. Okay. His defense down. Let's see if we can get a break. We got a break. Okay, aggro and defeated. Man, what a bunch of jokers! A bunch of jokers, indeed. Got a lot of good stuff from that. head towards our next objective and what again who is here vengeful dalton oh no <laughs> ryan helps i'm getting annihilated all right let me you know this is not good there's too many oopas there are way too many oopas Come on, Shulk, run faster. I think this is actually where I want it to be. I did. It is. 
There's no way they're still after me. Yep. Got the access lever. And that opens the door. Yikes. It's a long way down. And I'm willing to bet that that's where I'm going to have to go. Pick up a couple of these collectibles. Ether Pebble. Another Ether Pebble. And here are the Oopas again. No, 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 no. no, no, no. I'm just gonna run through. And I'm gonna trigger the cutscene. And we should be good. We're here, the central pit. Where are they all? I don't see anyone. We'll take that lift. I'm ready to mash some mech on. Yeah. Juju, a Thoron, just hold on. And Charla learned a new art. The skill tree upgrade. Shulk learns friendship heals. Heals the party slightly after a chain attack. Ryan learns battle character. Increases attack power of equipped weapon. Not bad. And Charla learns medical knowledge. Greatly boosts power of healing arts and chain attacks. That's useful. Speaking of arts. There's the arts that we can now level up more because of the books that we bought. And I'm gonna level up each of these. And Monado Shield. And Backslash. As for Rhyne, I'm gonna level up Hammer Beat, Sword Drive, War Swing. I should have leveled up Wild Down. That's fine. Charla's new art, Heat Bullet, releases a special ether bullet that increases the tension of the party. It could come in handy. Um, increases tension. Uh, for now, I think I'm actually going to leave it off. And I'm going to increase Heal Blast and Heal Bullet. And last but not least, not the Affinity Chart. I'm gonna go back and fill in some of the Collectopedias. I've been neglecting this. Oh, hey, I think Tefra Cave's done. Confusion Ivy wraps itself around anything, hiding signs and leading travelers astray. Got some steel silk. Dunban called it this a long time ago. It's soft like silk when wet. Taxability two, completed the whole area. And for that, we got warrior kisses. I don't know how to pronounce that word. Back in Colony, we have a cool potato, a cool green root that is particularly valued in summer. Onto Bionis leg, we got a hot taro, gives off steam even when raw. No need to cook this chef's friend. Spicy cabbage, packed with nutrients, but a complex veg that's tricky to prepare properly. Red durian, a strong fruit that makes you sweat, used as a cold remedy for kids. Humming plum, a plum that makes you burst into song when you eat it. White Ladybird, a ladybird with white spots all over. Males are known by another name. Moth Crawler, weird little wriggler. It's harmless, so it's fun to roll between your fingers. A Fire Tarantula, an adorable tarantula whose many hairs are deadly poisonous. Adorable and tarantula do not belong together. Anyway, White Songbird, a poetic name given by Shulk, makes a fresh sound in the breeze. We got Colony 6, Cute Orchid. This bloom is truly lovely, but is soon scattered away on the breeze. Spirit Clematis. The petals look a bit intimidating, but are, but it's supremely beautiful and fragrant. Amblagon Turtle. Carries a shell like topa Topaz Clusters. Folks like to use it as a decoration. Hmm. 
Dober Corgi, timid and weak, yet can be an extremely guard, an ec can be an excellent guard dog with training. Verdant Eternity, Shulk mold over this for ages, a leaf that never withers. Here in the ether mine, we got a light bat, emits light from its body. Why does it do this? Who knows? Black Frog, darker than the darkest cave, rarely moves so it looks like a stone. Black Beetle, has a sheen like black metal. Kids love it because it looks so cool. Got a charcoal leg, a soft root blackened from ether, mine soot, and machine smoke. Ether pebble, solidified gravelly lumps of ether. The texture is too fine to be useful. Got a ready coil, a coil wound with red wire. You can make a fun gadget with it. Love crane, Sharla named this as she saw it. Gold in color and moves prettily. And a fire abram. Charla named this deep red statue of an unknown subject. subject. You got a muscle up two gem for completing the strange category. And that about does it here. Got the achievement collector's mentality for completing, for getting all the collectibles in one particular area. So next time on Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, we'll begin our descent down the central pit. See you guys then. Oh man, I actually wanted to jump all the way off. That was lame. Anyway. Whee!